Hey guys. All right, so uh, I've heard a lot about this game, DDLC, Doki Doki Literature Club. And I mean, based on what I've already kind of seen, um, I, I, well, I mean, I don't really know. It looks like it's a pretty cute game, but people were saying that it is kind of disturbing at times. So I'm a bit worried about that, but it says this game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Well, I tend to be easily disturbed, but I can, you know, switch it between, uh, you know, I know what's game and what's real, so hopefully it won't be too bad. Individuals suffering from anxiety or depression may not have a safe experience playing this game. For content warnings, please visit. Wow, that's interesting. <laughs> they need two disclaimers? I have anxiety and depression, but I think I'm alright for this, okay? I'm at least 13 years of age and I consent to my exposure of highly disturbing content. Jeez. They're going to turn a lot of people away with this. Oh, this is so cute. I like the, the sound. I like the song. I don't know if I can actually be heard, but here's hoping. All right. Well, new game, obviously. Why would it- <clears throat> My name? I'll just go with Light. Because that's what people call me all the time, so whatever. Hey! Uh, oh, I just click? Oh, okay. I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. <laughs> I know people like that. <laughs> That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. Aww. Cute. I have a bestie already. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. Sure. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. Sounds like she's depressed. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. <laughs> wow, that's so mean! However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Ah! Ugh. <laughs> it feels so weird making grunting noises like that. She's clearly out of breath. I overslept again. But I caught you this time. I don't know why I almost read that wrong. I thought it said, but you caught me this time. <laughs> Wait, what? Maybe... But only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Aww. Hey, you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. No, not at all. Of course not. Why would I do that? That's mean, Light. Oh! I'm a mean person. What can I say? She's so cute! Her eyes are adorable. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Oh my god. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. <laughs> I guess you don't have it in you to be mean even if you wanted to. Flirt phase or flirt sign. I don't like that. <laughs> what do you say, Sayori? Whatever, I can't read. Whatever you say, Sayori. Oi. Ehehe. Ehehe? I don't know. Whatever. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the street becomes increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Light, have you decided on a club to join yet? Yes! Spanish club! I took Spanish club. Or I took, yeah. I was in Spanish club in high school. That was a lot of fun. Anyway, sorry. A club? Spanish club! I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. Although, based on the title of this game, I'm gonna pretty much assume that I don't join the Spanish club. I haven't really been looking, either. Uh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Yeah, Spanish club! Okay, I'm done, I'm sorry, I'll stop. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Okay, so does my character actually like this person or not? Because it's starting to seem like she doesn't. He or she doesn't. Sarah likes to worry a little too much about me. When I'm perfectly content just 
getting by on the average on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you would learn that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college, like reading this dialogue correctly. <laughs> I need to learn that. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. You know? <laughs> and I know you're happy now, but I would die at the thought of you becoming a, a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. What is a neat? N-E-E-T? Alright, well... I'll just say that that's like, hermit? <laughs> not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Am I supposed to? Don't make me- don't- bleh, don't make me keep worrying about you. <laughs> alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if that makes you happy. No promises, though. <laughs> Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? <laughs> More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. Aww. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. I hope I'm not reading this in a monotone. <laughs> the school day is as ordinary as ever and it's over before I know it. Well, yeah. I'm sitting in an empty class with no teacher. <laughs> After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall because there's no kids in my way. Looking for an ounce of motivation. <laughs> Sorry. Clubs. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? <laughs> Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. Oh, I already said that. I guess I didn't notice it until now. <laughs> I, I retract my previous statement then. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Isn't that what my character just thought? Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. <laughs> I love it. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's... You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know, she's blushing. Know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori. <laughs> yeah? There is no way I'm going to your club. Uh, meanie! <laughs> so cute! Siri is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a club. Well, of course it is. Makes you feel important. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title vice president. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. <laughs> Come on, please! Why do you care so much anyway? Well... I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. Ooh, I like cupcakes. <laughs> Nervous laugh. Don't, don't make promises you can't keep. Ouch. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning to have planned this all out. I let out a long sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? <laughs> can never ignore the sweets. Yes, let's go! There's that flirt face, flirt thing. Why do I say face? That is clearly not a face. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake? What the f- what? I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit because generally I'm used to- used? It's- wow. I read. I swear. This is why I shouldn't join the literature club. I can't even read the words in front of me. A section of the school I rarely visit being generally used for third year classes and activities. Yay! I made it through the line. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door and smacks somebody with it. No, I'm just kidding. Everyone, the new member is here. Flirt sign. <laughs> I told you, don't call me new member. Eh, I glance around the room. Welcome to the literature club. Oh! That's 
it's Yuri! I like her. I made a Yuri avatar in Second Life. Because <laughs> I have no life. It's a pleasure meeting you. I adore you, Yuri! Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? Wait, I'm, I'm a boy? Oh. <laughs> Apparently my character's a boy. Maybe I shouldn't have named him Light? It seems kind of strange. Oh well. Way to kill the atmosphere. Uh-huh. Boys aren't that bad. Ah, Light! What a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. Dot dot dot. All words escape me in this situation. <laughs> He is a high school boy staring at three chicks. I mean, of course, all words escape him in this situation. <laughs> this club is full of incredibly cute girls. I just said that. I literally just said that. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Sorry. Natsuki. Hmm. <laughs> the girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think that she's probably a first year. Too young for you, bro. She is also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. <laughs> and I thought I was mean. Jeez. Sayori says that quietly in my ear. Oh! I thought she said it out loud. It's like, wow. Then turns back toward the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, full of energy. Or always full of energy. I can read. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't say things like that. <laughs> she looks like... What, what is she? She's like shy. Timid. Doesn't really want, you know, attention on her like that. I used to be like... When I was in high school, I was like that. And look at me now. I'm a DJ. I do YouTube crap. I'm not awkward. Maybe sometimes I am. Whatever. Yuri, who appears to be comparably more mature and timid, really, I <laughs> just said that too, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Natsuki seems sassy. She's just like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Light. Why, thank you. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Are you stalking me? Monica was probably the most popular girl in the class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my league. Because <laughs> I'm a nerd. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... I'd say awkward, but I guess it just continues. You too, Monica. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come sit down, Light. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. Just to be clear, girls, I'm also a girl. Okay? I may not look like one, but I am one. Okay? But lucky for you... No, okay, anyway. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. <laughs> oh, not so okay. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? That seems quite fitting. <laughs> I don't know if tea would go very well with cupcakes, though, would it? Like, I don't, I don't know. I drink iced tea, so what do I know? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it has been widened, so there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the count counter of the room. Oh my freaking god. Corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay! Are you ready? Aw, that's so cute. Ta-da! dun da 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 Wow! <laughs> That's such a funny reaction! Whoa! Oh my god! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white, fluffy, oh my god, cupcakes decorated to look like little cats? Why am I not allowed to reach through the screen right now? Because I really want one of those. <laughs> the whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. Oh my god, that's so cute! So cute! <laughs> yep, I just said that too. 
I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Oh, <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. <laughs> Before I eat them all. Sayori grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. Oh, I said that wrong then. <laughs> I turn the cupcake around on my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. I don't want to eat the face. Can I take a picture of it with my cell phone first? Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't, heard... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? <laughs> made them for you or anything. I, I thought you technically did. Sayori said... Well, maybe. Hold on, wait. Where have I heard that before? It said in parentheses, haven't I heard this before? Um, no. I've never played this game before, so what are you talking about? Did I miss something? But not for, you know, you, dummy. I, I, um, take that as a compliment. Alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. Aww! She took, like, tea party to a whole new level. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. Okay. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? <laughs> Don't worry, the teachers gave us- give, Exotic butters. Ah, there goes my phone. Never a dull moment with exotic butters. Don't worry, the teacher gave us exotic butters. No, permission. <laughs> Well, I, that isn't exactly what I was asking. <laughs> After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, uh I guess. <laughs> eh, don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri is just trying to impress you. Eh, that's not insulted. Yuri looks away. Okay, wait. I get the feeling that my character has um, sort of the same kind of feelings for these girls as they might have for me. Or, uh, other way around. The girls might have the same feeling towards my character as my character does for them. Like, oh god, beautiful women! And they're like, oh god, cute boy. I feel awkward now. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. <laughs> I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. <laughs> I didn't. Sayori just dragged me here. Something- I- Oh my god! I freaking just said that! Ah, something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Why not? That's what I just said. Game. Stop reading my thoughts. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seems really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it is my duty to make the club ex fun and exciting for everyone. I apologize if I get tongue-tied. I really can read, but I'm better reading in my head than out loud. I don't know why. I'm weird like that. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader on the debate club last year? Of, not on, sorry. Uh, well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics in, around the major clubs. Yeah, I can't stand politics either at this point. <sighs> it feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. Oh. Events. Like, what kind of events does a political club have? Or debate club, sorry, I should say. Like, I don't, I don't even know how that would work. Whatever. I'm reading way too much into this. Anyway, I'd rather, I'd much rather read words. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. Holy crap. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica is, Monica, blah, blah. <sighs> Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. 
It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting all out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when that something doesn't grab your attention, like literature. I don't know, there are a lot of people that enjoy reading, so I don't know what you're talking about. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. Yeah, bring more people in. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduated. Graduate. Wow. Right, everyone? Yeah. We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Yay. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Yuri is so tall. <laughs> Monica must have worked really hard to find all these three. To find these three. Holy crap. Maybe that's where we're all so... Wow. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Like I said, I swear I can read. I think I need to go back to bed. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So Light, what kind of things do you like to read? Uh... Well, uh... <laughs> considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? <laughs> I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Oh, you like it too? Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Fear that if she really doesn't like it. Not much of a reader then, I guess. Well, that can change. You trying to change me? What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces uh, the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsman craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Okay. Sorry, I thought something was going on outside, so I went quiet. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so... She seems so reserved and timid that the moment I walk in... Oh, Jesus, I can't... Oh, the, the. She seemed so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up she, that, oh, bleh, that she finds comfort in the world of books, not people. Ah! But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Okay. Isn't it amazing how ama amazing? What? <laughs> What's on my mind? Isn't it amazing how a writer can be so del? <sighs> Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Are you insinuating that I'm stupid? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Somehow that doesn't surprise me. Ah, I read a horror book once. <laughs> yeah, once. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at this minimal level. Just say Stephen King, dude. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. <laughs> uh, really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. That's kind of how I am. Like, if I'm reading something, it has to grab me within the first few pages or I'm just like, nah, I'm done with this. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, even if it's for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. I'm not surprised. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? <laughs> what? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind in the last club meeting. <laughs> Busted! It looks like you were working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud! <laughs> I'll stop you right there and give that back! Fine, fine. Hey, <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems. Everything you do is as cute as you are. It's just as cute as you are. Sayori Sidles? Is that supposed to be slides? 
up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! <laughs> All those eyes! <laughs> Natsuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, uh, not a very confident writer yet? I understand how Natsuki, Natsuki, wow, little, 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 Natsuki feels. Natsuki? Nah, I always say the name wrong. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Aww. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Uh, da, da, da. <laughs> Look at her face. She's like, oh hell no. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Aw, oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Tick tock, tick tock. Okay. <laughs> I have an idea, everyone. Dot 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 question mark. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we can all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Oh, great. I have a bad feeling about this. If I'm someone that doesn't really like to read, or most likely write, I have a feeling my stuff is gonna suck, right? Do I actually have to write one? Um... Dot dot dot. Yeah, let's do it. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it'll help all of us get a little more comfortable with knowing each other. <laughs> I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Light? Why are you looking at me? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh, what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I, I, I never saw it. I never th 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 I never said I would join this club. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made a decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But I'm sorry. I thought. Hmm. <laughs> of course. Why? You all... I'm defenseless against these girls. Oh! Owned by girls. And I don't mean it in the kind of slave way. I'm done. Anyway. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls... Oh, come on, dude. Is that really what this is about? Right. Then I... Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. I really thought that was going to say something else. I will join something else club. One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy. Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Um, ow. <laughs> hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. That's technically why I came, isn't it? Then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Why, thank you. Ah, oh, thanks, I guess. Ah, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring the next meeting so we... Bring... bring uh, write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share... <sighs> Monica looks over at me once more. And tells me that I need to go to bed. No, I'm just kidding. I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Uh, you know what's so ironic about this is I actually do write in real life. And I'm not much of a reader, but I do write. So it's so funny. I was gonna make some sort of joke, but I literally do express myself in writing, so I can't say that. <laughs> Stop flirting with me! Yeah. Can I really impress the class after- cla Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? Hey, listen, buddy! If I get to write my own poem, I already feel the anxiety welling up inside of me. 
Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Light, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right. Sayori and I haven't walked home together. Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! Well, yeah, it's like if we're neighbors. Would that the two of us depart the club room and make our way to make our make our way to home? Make our way to home. <laughs> make our way to home. Make our way home. My God, words. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls: Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course Monica. Will I really be happy? Spent. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Wink, wink. Nah. All right. I'll just need to make most of my circum. I just need to make the most of my circumstances, and sure, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. Wow. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. And my fingers are ready at the keyboard. It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member would like. Oh. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Okay, I thought I actually had to write it. Oh, that's... Do I get to read it after, though, at least? Look at they're, they're, like, hopping up and down. Sorry, I'm just looking to see if they jump at everything that I say. No, I think they just do that randomly. <coughs> I don't know. Captive. Oh! Wait, why did sadness make Sayori jump? Does it not really matter? Nibble. <laughs> Contamination. Romance. Uh, heartbeat. Vanilla. <laughs> hmm. Clumsy, because I'm clumsy. <laughs> Apparently so is Sayori, that's so cute. Disown? Wait, what? Oh, that froze for a second. I was like, what the heck? Stop, no! There's a boop? I can boop? No. Oh. <laughs> Graveyard. Vacation? Graveyard vacation. <laughs> I want a vacation at the graveyard. Rain cloud. Oh, suicide. Oh my God. Pain, giggle, whistle, oh, whistle. Judgment. Promise. Pleasure. <laughs> what is this going to be about? Oh, first, okay. It says pleasure. Then there's climax. Then there's skirt. What exactly? Let's see what happens. Oh my god. Explode is the next one. No! My mind will not go in the gutter. Starscape. That sounds cool. Oh, hair. Oops, I didn't mean to double click. Oh well. Apparently the last one was hair. Hi again, Light. Hi. I'm not... <laughs> I think I just wrote a sexual poem. I'm not sure. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Haha. <laughs> yeah, okay. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I at least I keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. Yeah, I couldn't tell from, you know, Monica talking to me or anything. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Light. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it? Oh, come on, like he deserves any slack. She. She. Okay. Did you just assume my gender? <laughs> Sayori told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. That's true. And last year, too. Hey, wait, I said Spanish club. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what, but if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Mm. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. 
<laughs> probably arms folded and don't worry guys Lay always gives her best as long as she's having fun stop assuming my gender she helps me with busy work even without me asking like cooking cleaning my room how dependable sorry that's because your room is so messy it's distracting <laughs> what a great friend and you almost set your house on fire once is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. Oh, really? How come you and Light can become good friends too? Um. Sayori. <laughs> hmm. Dot dot dot. As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she's, she just put me into. And Yuri! Let's not be selfish here. I'm not the only one in a weird situation. Oh, oh, Yuri even brought you something today, you know. Eh. Wait, Sayori? Uh, me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Never mind. Told you it's nothing twice! <laughs> Sayori made it sound like it was a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Uh, I'm sorry, Yuri, I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. Aw. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I won't make a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. Uh, I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a, it's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks she'll like... Just bleh, bleh, that she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Snatch it right out of our hands! Phew! <laughs> well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone is settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a really cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Oh. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. But at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of the book. It looks like the same book that she lent, me, lent to me. Looks like the same book? Yeah, okay. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Ah. Crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me and our eyes meet for a split second. Ooh la la! Dot dot dot. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. <laughs> Sorry. I was just spacing out. I muttered this, sensing I had made her uncomfortable. Oh. Oh, the music changed. Or am I losing my mind? Because I'm pretty sure the music just changed. It's fine. If I wasn't focused, then I probably wouldn't probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so that's the book you gave me, right? Mm-hmm. I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason, of course. Sweat drop. Just curious, how come you have two copies of the same book? Uh well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday. Uh, that's not what I meant. I mean I just happened to buy two of them. <laughs> ah, I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decide to let it go. <laughs> I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might even have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's it about, anyway? Well... Uh. <laughs> She's like, hmm, I don't know. Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. This book is titled Portrait of Markov. 
There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. What? <laughs> Alright. I just wanted to make sure I don't accidentally give anything away. Basically, it's about a girl in high school who moves in with her long-lost younger sister. But as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escaped from a human experiment prison. And while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose, choose who to trust. In that kind of situation, probably no one. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships and her life starts to fall apart. That's kind of... That's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. She just said she was reading horror, like she said that yesterday. So why are you telling me... What, what? You don't expect something like this? Ha ha ha. Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy these kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. I just said that, so I didn't forget. Ha ha! She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that those kinds of stories, they challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants... Wait. When horrible things happen, John, not just because someone wants to be evil. Okay, then but because they have their own goals or their own philosophy that they believe in. Then suddenly, when you thought you related to the protagonist, they made it... They, they're made out to be the naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. That is never good. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. Oh, that's not a problem. Never mind. <laughs> I'm thinking, she's like, I kind of have this problem, and I'm like, oh, that usually doesn't start off a good conversation at all. <laughs> I kind of have this problem. Brace yourself. And then she's just like, oh, I ignore other people when I'm reading. It's like, are you kidding me? I know plenty of people who do that. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. That has nothing to do with ignoring people at all, but okay. And please stop me if I start talking too much. Once again, that's not ignoring people. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. It just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club, after all. <laughs> ah. That's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? You don't have to. Uh, how, what are you saying? Just a moment ago, you said you were looking forward to it. Dot, dot, dot. Let me just get the book. <laughs> Yuri's still, like, all flustered, and she's like, I don't know what to say. I'm just like, ah, I'm just gonna get the books. Just, just, get, hold on a second. I quickly retrieve, ret oh, pff, yep, okay. I quickly retrieve the book that I had put into my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Ah! Yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Alright. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe just a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Comforting in quotes. Only that's not in quotes, but comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. Hey, get your own! Get out of here. Sorry! <laughs> I was just... Yuri, you really do apologize a lot, don't you? I actually really relate to Yuri because I do the same thing. I apologize... for everything? I don't know... if something just happened, I looked away, and then when I looked back, something... whatever, anyway. I, I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... <laughs> Here, this should work, right? 
I slide my desk up against Yuri's and then hold my book more between the two of them. Oh, the desks. Like the two of them, why am I referring to myself in the third person? But I understand. Ah, I suppose so. Yurid Tim- Yur- Yurid. <laughs> Words! Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Oh! Hi! Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Ah. Uh, I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. Oh yeah, I can definitely see that I have manly hands down here. Great. That way, I turn a page and Yuri slides under her thumb after it flips to her side. While holding it like this, we're huddled even closer than before. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, like a football huddle. <laughs> it's actually kind of distracting me. I should have joined football instead! No. <laughs> it's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Eh? To turn the page. Oh, sorry. I think I got a bit of- Yeah, I definitely got distracted because I can't even talk. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Keep up with her what? Ah. That's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a little bit longer. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me. Yeah. Thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. <laughs> we continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. Why? Why? <laughs> you know what? Never mind. Just forget that I asked that. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. <laughs> hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but... The main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Oh, did I just insult her? You think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways. But she also second guesses a lot of the things that she says and does. Oh, okay. Like, she's afraid that she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can see into your head or anything, but they're kind of reminiscent of some of your mannerisms. I see. Yuri remains silent for a moment, and apparently we're not sitting, sitting anymore. But light, that's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. Uh, that's so embarrassing that you think that. Wait! I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything, I just got done saying you insulted her, bro. <laughs> you insulted her, that wasn't nice. Sorry, I just didn't- Yeah, sorry, I really didn't know you were self-conscious about that sort of thing. You should have known! She's self-conscious of everything! I guess I more meant that, like, it's kind of cute. Oh. Ah, what are you saying all of a sudden? I- Oh, okay, everyone. Jumps. <laughs> that was cute. Boink! <laughs> dot 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 exclamation point. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think it's about time we share today's poems with each other. I hear noises coming from my house. We might not have enough time if we wait too long. Ah. Yuri exhales, spared from finishing her thought. Is that alright, Yuri? You look kind of down. I'm sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. Ah, uh, it's not... It's fine. Yuri releases her hand from the book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. Listen! <laughs> alright. <clears throat> I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Or would you prefer I only read it with you? Um! I guess I don't have much of a preference either way. Hmm. You sure about that? If that's the case, I'll re read a little more tonight. It'll be more fun to read with you after it picks up a bit, you know? That's good reasoning. In that case, feel free to finish the t first two chapters on in your own time. Alright. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book and then slip it back into my bag. You don't have a bookmark, man? By the way, did you remember to write the, write a poem last night? Nope, not at all. Except for the fact that it may have ended up being some sort of sexual fantasy. Great! I don't even know. 
do I get to see what my own poem looks like? I mean, I just chose words, not, like, lines. Yeah. <laughs> my relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! <laughs> Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Who should I show my poem to first? Uh... Sayori, because she's my bestie. I'm definitely most comfortable sharing with Sayori first. She's my good friend, after all. My bestie! Dot dot dot. This is a good poem, Light. Are you sure it's your first time? Of course. It's, I'm not th it's not that good. I almost said I'm not that good. Am I the kind of girl who would be writing poems in her spare time? Stop assuming my gender! I guess you're right. But that's why it impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously. Or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy just that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Er, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Light. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people, that's something only really good people do. <laughs> she reminds me of, like, Papyrus, you know? Like, everyone is good if they if they try to be, you know? Well, obviously, you know, like, Sans has that sort of mentality in Judgment Hall, too. But I, why do I always compare every game I play to Undertale? There's always some sort of component that's like, hey, that's like so-and-so. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry, I have a dry throat this morning. I blame the weather. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Oh, jeez. Then again... I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That'll be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm just gonna hold you to that then. Yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> go ahead, read it. It's gonna be terrible. Just just go for it. Hold on. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> no. No, I don't think so. Well, we'll see about that. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, it makes me rub the sleepy from my eyes. That's so cute. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above. The sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever, but I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> what? Sayori, this is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? No! Just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. <laughs> I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel about better about uh, blah, 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 blah. At least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. Yeah, seriously, dude, don't be mean. I tried. I still tried my best. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say it like it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. <laughs> really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. Actually sounds really good. I haven't eaten yet today, so uh, yeah. I might have to make some of that myself. Even though you were late to school. It's bad to skip breakfast. They get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> it was so much fun. Monica's the best. Ah, uh, yeah. But next time I won't forget. And I'm going to write the best poem ever. <laughs> well, I guess I look forward to it. Who should I show my poem to next? I don't know if I want to show it to Natsuki. She seems kind of like... 
I don't know, like, rude? Snarky? Who should I show it to next? I won't do Yuri either because she has an interest. I think I'll save her for last. So I'll just go with Monica, I guess. Highlight. Hoy. Having a good time so far? Yeah, it was until you interrupted it. Uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the clubs, the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't afraid to don't don't afraid. <laughs> don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Ahaha. <laughs> don't worry, light. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? Because <laughs> we all have to do this crap. But it's that sort of barrier that we all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. Great job, Light. I was, I was going ooh in my head while reading it. Yeah, I, d I wonder why. It's really metaphorical. Uh, based on the words that I chose, I'm pretty sure it's not metaphorical. <laughs> Not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. <laughs> that could be taken two different ways. Ah, my mind is in the gutter. What the hell? I guess I underestimated you. Thanks, I guess. It's easier for me to keep everyone's expectations low. <laughs> that way it always counts when I put in some effort. Ah, uh, that's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this sort of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and- Oh! I clicked and I didn't read it. Well, there's a history button. Yeah, writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Okay. Uh, can I go back? Return? Okay. Unlike Sayori, who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness, Yuri likes, to, likes it when readers are left to derive their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging to write that effectively. <clears throat> Excuse me. Both allowing people to get something out of it just by feel, or letting them deeply analyze all of their nu 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 nuances. I <laughs> sorry, I don't know that word. I don't think I do, but I don't know how to pronounce it. Wow, I feel like an idiot. It can take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has at this point. <laughs> Never really asked though. Are you insinuating that she's not even like a high school student? I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Don't worry so much about that. You do your own thing. Just keep exploring and trying and learn. Oh, just keep exploring and learn by trying new things. I'm sure I'll end up writing different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a bit biased toward their own kinds of styles, but always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone wants you to write. Okay. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Ahaha. Ahaha. <laughs> Why two of those ahahas? Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, it's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I hear you there, girl. I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction the spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend, I'll never know I wasn't home. Appear inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel blind like a film out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas. Already scorched with a permanent copy of this meaningless image. It was just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Sorry, okay. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. Uh, okay. So what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform, if that's what you'd call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Ah, uh, it's okay. 
Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is a lot of poems that have been putting emphasis on the timing between worlds, words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the impression? What was the inspiration behind this one? Yeah. Well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had kind of a some kind of an epiphany lately, recently. Oh my god, it's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. Was it possibly this cute girl? No, I'm just kidding. Boy, joining your club? Even though I'm not a boy. Damn it. Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. It is. It's about light. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. You're gonna give me a tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem, po poem woo -woo, or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just, be, just force yourself to get something done on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big, dark puddle of ink. What? The hell? I just got... Alright. Everyone knows I love Bendy, so that was sort of like, I'm sorry, what? Come again? So just move your hand and go with the flow. Why do I always find, like, tie-ins between, like, different games? It's like, oh, this is like Undertale. That's like Bendy and the Ink Machine. This is like Five Nights at Freddy's. So far, I haven't found anything that's Five Nights at Freddy's related, obviously. I mean, unless she starts talking about writing on animatronics or something. No, that'd be Five Nights at Candy. Whatever, I'm done. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Flirt. Why? Stop flirting. I'll go with Natsuki. She's rude, though. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Question mark. Well, that's about what I expected from someone like you. It's a little blunt. <laughs> well, excuse me. It's not like I said it would be bad. Or it was bad. It's just didn't... It just didn't evoke any emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough for your tastes. Do you want to get smacked? Hey, hey, no, no, no violence in the classroom there, girl. I'll pass. Sigh. <sighs> well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. I thought that said fly again, and I'm like, no, they can't. But that's about it. That got dark really, like, at the end. It's like everything's nice and then it's like, people can try, but that's about it. Yeah. I told you you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? <laughs> Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. Aww. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly! I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Ah, I kind of said that. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like, I set up a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into this than I realized. That's what makes... That's what it means to be a pro? Oh, what an ego you've got! I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I didn't really care how everyone old is. However, <laughs> ah, I don't really care how old everyone is. But if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Who should I show my poem to now? Well, there's only one person. I'm just gonna click the wall. I'm gonna share it with the wall. No. Da da da. As Yuri reads the poems, I notice her eyes lighten. <laughs> Light and. <laughs> Sorry, anyway. Exceptional! Ooh, okay. Uh, what was that? Dot dot dot, question mark. Did I just say that out loud? 
Yuri first covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her whole face. I... Ugh. He's gonna hate me. Um, you really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. <laughs> like, calm the hell down, girl. <laughs> eh? That's... I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? Haha. <laughs> Yuri takes a breath. <sighs> so, what kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imagery and metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. Nope, not really. Really? Well, that's a huge compliment coming from you. This is actually my first time, really. Huh? Yuri stares at me blankly and then looks at my poem again. Dot dot dot. Well, I know that! Sure you did. I just meant, um... Yuri trails off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her finger along the words of the poem as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah. Okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they don't tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that they both is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Yeah, she's the real pro, not Suki. Not Suki. I always say not Suki and I don't mean to. Not that it matters. I don't think anyone's gonna yell at me. It's not like... Never mind, I won't say it. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. Uh, my apologies, I keep yawning. I'm tired. <laughs> That's why it's having, I'm having a hard time like reading this out loud because I'm tired. It might take you some time, but it all comes with patience. Sorry, practice. I had my mouse in the way that time. That wasn't. That was not my fault. Anyway, I'm learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Well, they did. Natsuki can be a little bit biased, though. You think? Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Oh, please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if as if uh, blah, 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 as if that is a rear rare, rare, rare. <laughs> Oh what the hell? A rare opportunity for her. Jeez, man. <laughs> it's a rare opportunity. Which itself is kind of funny. Yeah, yeah, it is, especially when you misread rare and say rear instead. That's hilarious. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Ghosts under the light. The tendril, tendrils blah, 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 of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining street light to have withstood the... the oh, blah, 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 to have with, withstood... Holy mother of pearl! To have withstood the test of time. My god. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. Sounds like my street. Just saying. I bathe calm breathing air out of the present but living in the past the light flick flickers i flicker back Ugh. dot 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 i'm sorry i have such terrible handwriting what i wasn't thinking that at all but it took you a long time to read uh well i just don't read script very often that is true i, I did yeah i actually think your handwriting is pretty eh that's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short? I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, this story isn't about a ghost at all. Really? 
I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it, after all. But I remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiments in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost, lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. Eh? It's nothing, really. Yours was impressive, too, so... Nah. If anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. You think so? Yeah, of course. Ah. You know. I was really nervous about doing all of this. But in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm gonna keep doing my best for you, Light. Aww. Ah. Me too. Yay. Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. It was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre, mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. They both look not happy. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you just completely miss the symbolism or something? Oh, here we go! It's a cat fight. It's clearly about the feeling... It's clearly about, clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I know that. I just meant... The language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Oh, stop fighting! Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. Humph. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. <laughs> uh, Sayori liked it. And Light did, too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless I, of course, come across something I, I find... Hmm. Unless I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Yikes. <laughs> and Light liked my poem, too, you know. He, she even told me she was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh. Oh, the music stopped. Oh. Oh? Hey, I just said that more than once. I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? That's not what I... Uh... You, you just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Light appreciates my advice more than she appreciated yours. Huh? And how do you know that she didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Ouch! Uh... Um... Is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew size bigger as soon as light started showing up. Natsuki! <laughs> she covers herself up. Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly both girls turn toward me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Light! She's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. 
If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then she wouldn't have happened. Then this wouldn't have happened. She wouldn't have happened. Yeah, that's nice. Then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. <clears throat> What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Light. Wait! There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meanings most, the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only necessar unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Light? Actually, I do. Um, well? Dot, dot, dot. How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. But whomever, wh whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. <laughs> Natsuki Yuri, help me, Sayori! Ah. Natsuki's gonna hate me. But I'm gonna pick Yuri. Natsuki. What? Oh. You're right that I liked your poem. See? Wait. That's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. That's not what happened at all. Yuri wouldn't even take my poem seriously. Mmm. I understand, Yuri. Eh? You're, ser you're a seriously talented writer. It's no secret that I was impressed. Well, that's... But here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it and it becomes something really personal. That's why Natsuki felt threatened when you said her poem was cute. I see. I didn't notice that I... I'm sorry. Ugh. But Natsuki, you took it way too far. <laughs> well, well, here I go. I'm just gonna light into her now. No pun intended. Yuri means well, and... If you just told her how, to, how you felt... Then this would have happened. This wouldn't have happened in the first place. Are you kidding? That's exactly what I did. It was her that Natsuki. I think that's enough. You both said some things you didn't mean. Yuri apologized. Don't you think you should too? Mmm. Natsuki clenches her fists. In the end, nobody has taken her side. She's trapped. At this point, being defiant only because she can't handle the pressure. I end up feeling- I end up even feeling bad for her. Um, sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps to take a walk and clear my head. Sayori, she doesn't need to- You know what? I'm going to do that. I'll spare- it'll spare me from having to look at all your faces right now. Whoa! Without warning, Natsuki snatches up her own poem from the desk and storms out. On her way out, she crumples up the poem with her hands and throws it in the trash. Aww, did I just hurt her? I didn't mean to. Natsuki... She really didn't need to do that. I looked across the room. Yuri has her chin buried in her hands while she stares down at her desk. I gingerly approach her and sit in an adjacent chair. Sigh. Everything alright? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. No, Yuri. How could anyone not have gotten frustrated after being treated like that. You handled it as well as anyone could. I don't think any less of you. Well. Alright, I believe you. Thanks, Light. You're too kind. I'm thankful to have you part of this club now. Have you a part of this club now. I was close. Er, it's nothing. One more thing. Um, that one thing that Netsuki said about, you know, I would never do anything so shameful. So, eh? What say did Natsuki say? She's talking about the boobs, dude. Um. Well, never mind that. I'm going to make some tea. Ah, good idea. Make enough for more than one person, okay? Yeah. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun! Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. Light, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learn something from your friends, too. So your poems will turn out even better. Sure. Light. Me. Dot dot dot. I think to myself. 
I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. Sorry. With any luck, that means I could at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Ah ha ha! I, I get that reference. Light! Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. Hee <laughs> hee! Siri beams at me. I can't help but think that it's like a hee <laughs> hee! kind of thing. <laughs> Something that I would not do on a regular basis, but I just I hear it like that. Siri beams at me. It truly has been a while since Siri and I have spent this much time together. I really can't say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori, about what happened earlier, that- what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've ever seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't- you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. Because I wonder when to get along. I can see why they would make good friends with you. Phew. You know, Light, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club, but I think seeing you get along with everyone is ma what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you, too. That's... Hehe. <laughs> Hehe. Sorry. <laughs> I don't, don't want to keep doing that. It hurts my throat. Like, my throat is seriously bothering me today, like, really bad. I don't know why. Every day is going to be so much fun! Sigh. Looks like Sayori still hasn't got- hasn't caught onto the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but... Does it really need to stop there? Come on, dude! You can't just make friends without thinking about... other... stuff. Desperate. We'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. <laughs> okay! Yeah. Let's do this. <sighs> Alright, I need to stop for now. Ah, there's a save option! I wish I had known that a while ago. I'm gonna save. There. And I'll continue on... Um, yeah, I'll continue on. Um, hopefully later, and I'll probably release these as, like, clips. <laughs> so I can do everyday uploads. Yay! Wow, this one's an hour and a half long almost. Holy crow. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Sorry that I'm having a hard time reading. I am absolutely exhausted. As you can probably tell from my random yawning. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna cut those out, but still. I mean, you'll definitely be able to tell. I was like, in the, like at the very end of a sentence, I was just like, Ugh. And I was having a hard time reading this stuff out loud. I promise you, I can read. I'm not, like, illiterate. I'm just really tired. So, I don't know. Um, I'll be back soon. And until then, have a good day, night, whatever it is where you are. And I will see you soon.